West Wild World. I'm with a local legend here, Will the Mayor, and we're just going to be handling some spitters today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Banded Rakos. It's a cobra, but it's not really a cobra, and he is quite an asshole. But he is quite cold, so I don't know if he will play dead. They are renowned for playing dead, um, feigning death. <laughs> they will roll over, stick their mouth open, and yeah. Try and feign death as best as possible. They have a potent cytotoxic venom. Um, oh, don't spray on me. <laughs> they have a potent cytotoxic venom. They are found in South Africa. This is a KZN locality, banded runcals. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. The orange and the black and the pitch black head. You can see how big that head is, obviously, to store the venom. Um, these guys are, like I said, they aren't true cobras. They are actually in their own family. Um, what differentiates them is their keeled scales. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Their keeled scales, their live bearing, and their fang placement is um, not to where a true spitting cobra will be. But there you can see he's almost feigning death. He'll roll over like that, stick his mouth open, and play dead. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful snake. <laughs> and as you can see, for them to spit, they actually have to lunge forward because um, they don't have the specialized fangs of a true spitting cobra they have the normal fangs um the true spitting cobras have their fangs at a 90 degree angle that are able well makes them able to spit even when necked or from a lowered position so they're beautiful beautiful animals it's almost like a transparent kind of um orange that's the other back of that hood yeah. there you guys can see that absolutely insane but yeah i'm just gonna let We'll handle a few and we'll get back to you when he does. Okay, so this is Wildermeyer, local legend in South Africa, well, especially Western Cape. Been handling snakes for about 15 years, and this is how he is most comfortable handling snakes. Absolutely insane <laughs> to see how. This one's too, this one's too they dead now. There you guys can see, this is how they feign death. It's a half assed attempt, but. <laughs> Yeah, they usually roll over with their mouth open, and as soon as you come close, they'll want to take a bite there. You can see the mouth open there. But as soon as you come close, we'll try and bite. Awesome snake though. But yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll be on more videos on the channel. Because he's an insane handler and he's very knowledgeable. But yeah, beautiful animal. <laughs> Sorry, you just spat at me. Awesome animal. Yeah, so this is the feared Mozambique spitter that Wool is just taking out quickly. If it will want to get out of the tube. Oh, lovely. Look <laughs> at his head. Check at the size of his head. A lot bigger than that. Than that of the Runkals. Obviously to store all of that potent cytotoxic venom. This guy is actually a true spitting cobra. He is in the Naya family. Um, he is quite a relaxed snake most of the time, but he is quite flighty at that same time. He's more curious than anything. But well, what makes these guys special in snake bite cases compared to other cobras and other snakes in general? Well, they do tend to bite a lot of people at night when they're sleeping and I don't actually know why it could be a feeding some sort of a feeding response or people just roll onto the snake and get bitten but as you can see they're quite actually quite relaxed he just wants to get away yeah so the media 
Yeah, so the anyway. media actually portrays these guys when those cases happen as quite evil snakes biting for no reason. But as you guys can see that even when we handle the snake, some people would say messing with, that it wants nothing to do with us. You can see Will holding it in his hand. You can see just curious, not trying to bite, not trying to spray, not trying to do anything like that. And this is why we handle the way we do because it actually calms down the snake a lot more than just on a hook. Joe, what type of venom do these guys have? It's not so toxic. And there is a bit of neurotoxic component in the venom as well. So what does cytotoxic do in humans? Uh, mouth or tissue. So basically, yeah. if you do get bitten, um, it's quite different to puff at a venom. It's, um, a, the cytotoxic tends to spread out a lot more. Um, there have been quite a few bites of people that have actually taken bites on the leg and then the other leg tends to swell up and you know, it's a lot of mischief. And how does the, usually how does the venom travel in our system? Um, through the lymphatic system. Um, but what I do suspect with these guys, because puff adibites seem to be very, the cytotoxic seems to be very localized your arm swells up like a balloon but these it seems like the neurotoxic almost helps the um, cytotoxic travel through your body and it spreads the cytotoxic and neurotoxic is what does that how does that affect us it's a, basically it's the nerve um, nerve destroying or nerve venom that shuts down your nervous system but the, the neurotoxic in this um, particular snake is so weak that you, you would barely feel it. But obviously a bite from these guys is classified as being deadly without the intervention of medical treatment. Hey, Will. That can be. Just put it bluntly, it's not a bite that you would want to take. Absolutely not. But again, we handle snakes like this because it does calm down the snake a lot more mm. than on hooks. Um, I think that they feel a lot more safe than yeah, others. just calm. You can see that he is just curious. He just wants to sort of inspect his surroundings. Yeah, but I still wouldn't, wouldn't want to take a chance and put my, my hand. Let him crawl on you and things like that. I don't be handled like that. <laughs> Obviously, um, with African species mainly that we've seen, because we are down in Africa, these cobras do like to just nibble on anything. Yeah, great. Uh, so it's it's quite a risk to let them just crawl on you. Obviously, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I really wouldn't. But yeah, you can see that even though the media does portray these guys as being sort of a an evil species, so to say, you can see that they actually want nothing to do with us. He just wants to get away. Yeah, and when handled appropriately, they are very very calm. I would never recommend anyone handle like this, even if you are trained. It's just something that myself and Will are comfortable doing. You can see how beautiful these guys are. Just going to get a few photos of Will handling, and then I'll handle the snake and talk a bit more about him. But look at the size of that head. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Not even hooding, not spraying, not anything calm as can be. Absolutely insane. You can also see the strength of these guys. They aren't arboreal, but they are quite good climbers. You can see how far it actually sticks out its body to go from branch to branch when it would be in trees. But awesome. Okay. You saw how well, crazy wool handles this guy. He is a lot more advanced than I am with handling. Um, obviously, I am a lot newer than he is. He had, well, he's been handling for about 15 years and only taken one serious bite even before 
Well, this was before he got sort of trained or knew what he was doing. He was just sort of going out in the bush and trying to find snakes because he was just interested in them. But yeah, these guys are local to South Africa, even though the common name is Mozambique Spitting Cobra. Again, they are in the true cobra species. Unlike the Runkos, they are Naya Mozambica or Naja. I don't know the... the Naja. Naja. It's just different pronunciations. But yeah, you can see how curious these guys actually are. He just wants to he climb. He just wants to climb, yeah. But yeah, potent, potent venom. Not something that you would actually want to take a bite of. Um, it's not like you would want to take a bite out of any venomous snake species, even if they're classified as mildly venomous. But yeah, thank you so much for Will for agreeing to cool. video with me. Look at that. And check how beautiful, Hello. Check how beautiful this animal is. But Hello. yeah, if you Hello. guys did enjoy the video and want to see more of Will, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cool.